Howdy folks, Gomer here. Got another one of these lovely little driving vlogs that I'm doing because I've got to kill time somehow. <laughs> and um, if the light gets a little wonky, well, I'm just driving my ass around a little bit. And the sun is just pretty much everywhere. Um, right now I'm, I'm currently driving west, hence the, the big sun on my face, you know, all the sunlight there. Uh, it's better because the last time I was driving east for a good por por portion, so everybody behind me just, just got the sun. It's like, boom, it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, so what am I going to talk about? I'm actually going to talk about uh, potential job prospects because uh, I, I currently hold a Class A CDL. Uh, got all that squared away. My medical card is up to date. All that really good stuff, so... Uh, with any luck, I'll be driving the countryside in one of those big old trucks you see riding around here. Um, hopefully. I hope. <laughs> um, and if that happens, then, well, you'll probably see a lot more of these with me on the road. Um, and probably louder engine sounds. <laughs> but, you know, that's something something I can actually test out one day. Um, but, yeah, I do want to talk a little bit about... Oh, wow. Hey, relief from the sun! No! Ah! I do want to talk about driving, like long distance driving, you know, because truck drivers, you know, obviously they can do that. Um, you know, drive eight to 10 hours a day just to get someplace, drop their load, pick up another load and all of that. And you have to do it with at least 50 feet of trailer behind you. I, I think the average length is, I think 54 feet, uh, it's either 52 or 54. And, uh, one thing that a lot of people may not understand is the fact that we actually, you know, and I and I say we because I still consider myself one. Um, we can only drive a certain amount of time per day. You know, it's not it's not like the stories you'd hear like from old '70s songs, like the, the, you know the Convoy song, or or stories that Jim Croce would tell on the stage when he was doing a live show or whatever. Um, you know, like Speedball Tucker or whatever. You know, you don't, you don't, you, that doesn't happen. That, or at least it shouldn't happen in this day and age. Um, you know, in 2015. You know, because you got to have, you got to have time for yourself to rest. Because if you don't rest, you fall asleep at the wheel. And that's not good, especially when you've got 50, again, 50, I think it's 54 feet of trailer behind you. Odds are it's going to be loaded. So, so it's, it's a lot of heavy shit just going off the road and turning and flipping and everything and that's not fun that is not good at all um <laughs> but um but yeah so we, we have to have that so what, where it was at least when I was driving I know they were thinking about updating it uh, they've been talking about updating it for a while um what it was is 11 hours and then you have to take a 10 hour break to reset that 11 hours and then you could go either at least with the companies I work with, you could work no more than 70, you know, drive no more than 70 hours in a work week um, before you have to take, at the time it was 36, but I think they've upped it to 48, or at least they've been talking about it, to reset everything again, to get you all refreshed and everything. And every time they want to increase something like that, and they don't do it just willy-nilly, they don't do it to try and rob you out of your money if you're a driver, that's not the point of it at all point is they want you to do it safely you know because yeah making all that money hey it's great don't get me wrong you know more money yay um you need to be alive in order to enjoy it that's the, that's the big important thing you have to be alive in order to enjoy that money um unless you're just making money and then you're going to kill yourself after you get five thousand dollars and give it to your spouse or something i don't know you know then you know, well that that's a whole different thing altogether ah so, but, but drivers will bitch about it. They're like, well, you're going to keep me from making all this money. And it's like, dude, if you don't, you, you not get it. And it's like, you need to be alive to enjoy that money. I mean, sure, you got families to feed and everything. And, and you know, you know, the, the apartment that I was in in Indianapolis for a while, um, you know, it was just the two of us. The rent was, I want to say about 700 something. So it took two of us to do it. Uh, if I actually played my money right, I probably could have been okay on my own, if not very, very tight on money for the most part. Um, but I think it would have been okay. Uh, the only problem is that is probably mm, that, that's just for like two people and in one apartment, not even not even married or anything, and me bringing in most of the money. 
Uh, so, you know. <laughs> uh, so I can understand. I, I guess I guess I'm talking my way around to the point to where I understand. Okay, yeah, I understand where he's coming from. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure whoever's at home, like his wife or whatever, you know, has some kind of income coming in too, I would hope. Um, or maybe he makes enough and he's worried about it dipping under, which I don't think trucking companies would let that happen. Or at least the ones that I've worked with, I don't think they'll let that happen. Uh, so, so yeah, the whole, the whole, you know, less money thing, I, I don't think. It's like, guys, calm your tits, all right? Calm them, please. You know, or, or at least calm half your tits. You know, let the other one party a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, again, rambling, rambling, rambling. Ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, I, I just thought that was one of those things, like, some people, you know, you don't know so much about it. And by the way, if the sun appears in the back again, I'm driving east. I think, I think I said I was driving east last time. But, um, point is, I'm driving away from the sun. Hello, Mr. Backpacker. Um, but, oh, no, it seems to be all right. So, I can't do too many more of these, otherwise the lighting is going to suck. So, um, yeah. So, you know, truck driving, you know. <laughs> People, if they're wanting to do the redo the hours of service, and drivers are like, "What about our money? You'll be fine. You need to be alive to enjoy it, asshole." <laughs> That's basically it. And who knows? Maybe, you know, after after this, I'm actually going to take suggestions. Maybe do one of these, like, uh, you know, when I, we we like have local plays that do things here, um, I, and I do want to do like local plays instead of just going to the movies because everybody does the movies. Um, doing doing like a local play would be just awesome, you know, and maybe it helps, maybe it would help get some of these local places well, more well known, because I'm pretty sure not everybody that's more internet bound in this area knows everything about the local theater, and maybe they'll be interested, you know. Um, I know one of the theaters around here is doing The Wizard of Oz in the next week or two, so let's see if I can't wrangle up some way to do that one. <laughs> uh, maybe, you know, maybe grab Steve and go do that, I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. Um, I have to rearrange my camera though, shit. Ah. But oh well. Anyway, um, so this is this is it this time. L thanks for listening re to me ramble again. Um, as I do more of these, I'll probably be a little bit more concise, consistent, and all of that. Um, I'm I'm only partially off script for Thespian Talk and, and my podcast because you know I at least do have points of like news stories or whatever that I want to talk about. But here is just all me. No, no stories, no scripts, nothing. So there's going to be a lot of rambling. <laughs> and, and hopefully the more I do these, the more, again, like I said, the more um, concise I'll be when it comes to actually, you know, staying on a topic, I hope. So thank you guys for watching. I will catch you next time. And until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.